Hello, hello, welcome back to another episode of Dragon Age Origins. I am Pixelated Twix, and we left off last time. Um, I think it was Monday with, was it Monday? Today's Wednesday. It was Tuesday. Whatever. Whenever I, I sent out that last recording, I think it was Tuesday, um, we were left off in the Diamond Quarters. Is this what this is called? Diamond Quarters. And we've been given the task of gaining the trust of two people, one being Lord Haremount and the other one being Lord Balin. And I had decided that I was going to um, I guess that I was going to pledge fealty to Haremount because of all the information that had been given about Balin and it wasn't good. Um, again, I don't know a whole lot about Haramont, but from what I gather, um, the, uh, the king, uh, King Idukin, who has passed, um, I believe he's passed from the grieving of his sons, the death of his sons and the exile of his second son, um, he left um, specific instruction that Haramont would be his uh, would would be his successor. Okay, so let's figure out what we're gonna do. Sighted battling Darkspawn near Orzammar. They have no orders while throne stands empty. Make Haramont your king now. Okay. All right, how do we get to okay here? Two years tomorrow. Mm -hmm. By all the holy sodding ancestors, how can you people just ignore that? Bronca didn't go alone, Opera. She took the whole house, everybody but you. So just get over to Tapsters and drown yourself already. You know as well as I do, that's how this always ends. Wow. Think I'm afraid of some cub warrior who's barely off the teach? <laughs> I'll... You lift a weapon or attack a single citizen in Orzammar, and you're stripped of your caste in exile. Even you can't have forgotten that. Get out of here before I call a guardsman. Okay, well. Alright, anything up here? Noble. What's this? Council Writ? Hmm. It's quite a long, lengthy one. All right. Let's head down. I feel like the game is extra loud today. Do you? Okay. So, oh, let's talk to this guy. You're the best wrangler I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. But there's more out there. Is there? Okay. Well, we'll we'll find them all. Okay. So, we've got a couple things that we need to do. Is that a... Who's this? Is it true the dark spawn are attacking the surface? Yeah. Who are you guys? So, I've been hearing rumors that a certain wine merchant is falling behind on his payments. I... I can't imagine what you mean. I, I pay my expenses. What about the expenses your good friend Jarvia incurs when providing your protection? It's not easy ensuring nothing bad happens that no one decides to just burn everything in your store my store please i don't have much business isn't good people are scared tell jarvi i'll get her money i jarvi is not happy with your promises old man now let's go inside and see what you've been holding back hmm me thinks me wants to go in and see what's going on. Mm-hmm. This is all I have right now. I could get more if I sell something. Well, well. Mm -hmm. Looks like we have a visitor. Hello there. Friend of yours. Mm. Is there a problem here, friend? Are these men threatening you? you tell him, Alistair. Don't get involved with this. You don't know what they're like. Then allow me to make some introductions. Nice. These are dangerous Bing. times in, in your Orzammar, face. stranger. 
Lucky us, the merciful Jarvia is offering protection from the chaos. You're wearing some fancy stuff there. Might make you a target. So if you want the Carta's guarantee of safety, it's yours for the reasonable price of ten gold sovereigns. Or I can't say what might happen. <laughs> Taking a look, do you really want to start this? Whoa, whoa. All right, you win. I'm not gonna die for ten lousy sovereigns. Mm. Good man. Okay. So, uh... Figor? What's going on here, sir? Ancestors, bless you for saving my poor store. I don't know how to express my gratitude. Hmm. What do you know about this Jarvia? I... I've never met her, of course. Mm -hmm. They say she never leaves Dust Town. That's, uh, the older area of the city where the castless congregate. She's the one directing this depravity. Since good King Endrin died, they're getting bolder. They used to be a problem only in Dust Town, but now they're in the commons, shaking honest men down for coin. Okay. What do you know about her carta? A band of castless thugs. They're to blame for all the crime in Orzammar these days. They're criminals, and the children of criminals. The ancestors themselves declared them irredeemable. Hmm. Let's see. Mm, the caste divide is deep indeed. These caste lists, they're all the same. Beggars, thugs, and murderers, everyone. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm grateful for your help, but I don't think we have any more to talk about. I actually want to... have something more pleasant you wish to discuss? Mm, what do you have for sale? I'm showing you the lowest prices I can afford. I assure you. So, really quick... I, I can understand where this man is coming from. Obviously, he is being harassed by people from the slums and by this this group of thugs that are under the and under the the instruction of someone named Jarvia. And so he has some feelings towards the people of the slums, but he's putting everyone under the same. Um, categories category thugs like everyone from the slum is thugs and so i tend to disagree with him on that wholeheartedly i guess that my choice in the conversation wasn't the correct choice that i would have necessarily if i could go back i would choose um the other one where it said so you're basically putting the children and everyone else under the same um like you're putting them all into the same category as thugs, low lives. So, yeah. Um. Anyways, that's just a, a quick thought on that. But anyways, let's see what he has. He's got some health poultices. We'll take. You know, we really don't need any of this. I've got like a ton. I really do. I do. I I do. So, but I'll take some of this. The the mage bane. I don't have. I don't this. Yes. The the what is this? Greater health. I don't have that. Just in case, I mean, you know. Um, anything that I could sell here? Dwarven helmet. Yeah, let's get rid of that. This, everything else we'll keep. Crow dagger. Mm. Speaking of, we should take Zevran out. Um, everything else we'll just keep for now. Alright, let's head out. All right. Let me see what we're supposed to be doing because, okay, Orzammar. Seek out Steward Bandler. The leadership of Orzammar is in chaos. Addressing the assembly seems like the likely place to start looking for a solution. The chamber of the assembly is in the Diamond Quarter. Oh, so we need to go back up there. Um, we need to speak to Prince Valen's second in command. Uh, we also need to help this girl named Dagna. Uh, we need to finish this. A thief in the House of Learning. Track down the thief who stole a tomb, a tome from the Shaper. It. Um, so he's in the slums. And we also need to go to the deep roads. What is this? Very well. 
All right. Mm -mm, it's a long one. Go on. Yeah, they do. You know what? All dwarves do this. They build above their stature. Who is this? Commoner? That's Dagna. Janar Armors? Let's go in here. See what they got. Well, hello there. Welcome to Janar Family Armors. Janar. I must say. You look like our type of people. Looking for a new set of mail. At Janars, we have everything from leather to platinum. Hmm, let me see if you've got to. Of course. Uh, keep in mind, we also take items on trade. Hmm, okay. Hmm. Nothing I really need. Thanks. Um, oh. A trust follow, stranger. Assalamu alaikum to you too. Um, let's see. You know anything about what's happening with the king? I stay out of politics. It's not good for a smith to get the attention of those who grant vendors licenses. Lord Haramont's a fair man. My father did business with him. And he always paid on time. But the Idukans have served us well. If it is the ancestors' wisdom to keep them on the throne, I cannot object. Mm hmm. Are you part of the Smith cast? I, for a hundred generations. My father made his name by inventing a fold and tacit, which were integrated into the cuirass. But, uh, I'm guessing by your face, you're not a Smith yourself. By my face? Is it because I'm human? Or not a dwarf? Or, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, wasn't the Paragon Bronca a smith? That she was. The best to walk these tunnels since Carradon himself. Threw it away, chasing old dreams, though. Hmm. What do you mean, Bronca threw it all away? Didn't last six months as a noble before she set into the deep roads looking for ancient secrets. Now she's dead in the tunnels. All that brilliance wasted. Hmm. And who's Carradon? Best smith who ever lived, bar none. He gave us the secret of forging golems that could walk, talk, and defend our borders. Ah, when we had them, no dwarf had to risk himself against the darkspawn. It was a golden age for the smith cast. His work was lost centuries ago when his tide fell to the darkspawn. No one even knows where it is anymore. Janar, do you have a daughter named Dagna? I... Has she been bothering you? It's a whiff of surface stink, and she's like a cave tick. Won't let go. Hmm. No, she hasn't been a bother. Oh, good. Well, let me know if she does trouble you any. I'd like to help her study with the mages. Do you even know what that means? If Dagna goes to the surface, she forfeits her caste. She'll never be able to marry or, or work in Orzammar again. Dwarves don't do magic. Dagna knows that. It's just a childhood fantasy that dies hard. Please, if you see her, send her back and let me talk some sense into her. <clears> hmm. <throat> okay. I am extra yawny today, so I should let you guys know that. Um, do I want to talk to Dagna? Let's talk to her. You're back? takes two weeks and four days minimum to make the journey to the oh, circle tower okay i don't even know that right that's quite impressive and just a little disturbing a little bit Why just do i get the feeling some... charting routes to the circle tower is one of her favorite hobbies i'm guessing you haven't left yet <laughs> no we haven't um i'm not leaving ours tomorrow until the selection is resolved well i've waited 19 years another month won't kill me yeah, I'm not going to talk to her right now. I don't want to tell her that her... Well, she probably knows that her father doesn't approve of her inclinations towards wanting to learn about magic. So... Oh. Anything else back here? Let's talk to Filda. Hi, Filda. How are you? I'm sorry. Did you have an offering for the ancestors? Although, I 
I can't imagine your ancestors reside in the stone. No, they don't. Um, what were you praying for? My name is Vilda, widow of Turok of the Smith Cast. I pray here every day for my son, Rock. I only wish I knew whether I should be asking for his safe return or for the ancestors to accept his soul. What happened to him? It was five years ago. He was only a youngster. He joined a deep roads excursion, the only smith to go with the warriors to repair their arms. He was so proud that he got separated somehow. When they came home, he wasn't with them. Did anyone go after him? The captains don't want to lose anyone searching for stray men. Too many were taken by dark spawn that way. I see. We shouldn't abandon him. I'll look for him if you want. How? There is no way except to brave the deep roads yourself. I'm a great warden. That's what we do. Warden? So you could do it. Only wardens face the deep roads without a company packing them. Oh, thank you. The ancestors finally heed my prayers. Take heart, good widow Filda. We'll do our best. Please, find me as soon as you return. A new quest, a mother's hope. Find Filda's son, Ruck. You met a woman named Filda in the Orzammar Commons who was praying for her son, Ruck, a smith who was lost in the deep... Rose expedition five years ago. Filda does not know if Ruck is alive, dead, or worse. You have agreed to look for signs of Ruck in the deep roads. What do they mean by worse? What could be worse than dead? Undead? Could it be an undead? What's this? Oops. Is that? Yep. Hello. Hmm. The party I going on in here. Dwarven ale once. I thought it was just something they tricked surfaces into drinking as a joke. And nothing. Okay. Cora. Okay. Hi, Cora. I trust Vala, stranger. You must be the Grey Warden we heard about. Welcome to Tapsters. Thank you. I'm Cora, your hostess. How may I serve you? Hmm. I'm looking for someone. I am. I. Maybe I can help. I thought Ogren might be here. He should be by the trash barrel. Easy to spot. Everyone gives him a wide berth. Well, how would I know to look for an Ogren? What's this? Nevin? Hi, Nevin. Afternoon, stranger. Looking for a stool to share a brew? You're looking for a fist to share your face? Wow. Um, who are you? My name's Naveen. I fight with Prince <clears throat> Balin's expeditionary field unit. Mm. Yourself? I'm Natalia, Grey Warden. Figured as much. Good folks, Wardens. I was in the Deep Roads when that one came by. What was his name? Dukan, Duncan, uh, something like that. You knew Duncan? I met him, sure. Good man. Solid. Yeah. He knows what we go through in the Deep Roads. Not many do. Not even the ones who live this close. You have to be on the front lines. Hmm. You work for Balin. I go where I'm sent, fight when I'm there, and leave politics where it belongs. I see. Who's your unit fighting? Darkspawn. Not much use in turning our weapons elsewhere while those vermin still live. Thanks for the drink, but I should go. Watch yourself. Wars of our politics are getting near as dangerous as battle. In Dwarven Barbara, go see in the back of Bill. Somebody's drunk. Dooling. Dooling? Everywhere. I can't take it. Hello? Get away. You'll change like the rest. Monsters hidden in all my friends. What are you talking about? They follow you. Once you are in the story, they possess your friends and follow. See? I found copies. All from the same pen and older than the ones in song. Dormant my ass. Take them. I want out. I what won't is disappear he chasing a lot. Talking about Unbound, you ass, I'm telling. Don't go. 
The stories talk of the riches, but never the names, never where they supposedly spent their wealth. I heard the same tales as a lad in Dinnerum, felt the same pull, but it's a lie, son. They paint a trail, but once you're on it, does it lead to the beast or back to you? Unsigned letter, father to son. Three weathered parchments with three versions of the same and incomplete story. Excerpt. And when his kingdom fell, so disappeared the stolen riches of an age, the beast, the unbound, dormant until one of true spirit claims his throne. So must the hunt, so must hunt the hero of his people, the principled, who would serve for the ancient evil. This is how they can make a real difference. Scribbled in the corner in a shaky hand. Three pages, three ages, same story, updated. Same as the tavern song, but older. Signature torn on purpose, but compare and get Willem Madon, all from him. How? I, I won't. Okay, uh, hi, Doolin. Back so soon? The proving is not finished. What happened? I'm just headed to the proving now. Um... I'm just heading to the preview now. May the ancestors guide your arm. That's right. We did speak to Doolin before, and he said he would be here. I told him I don't understand why the provings aren't open to everyone. I mean, it's how the ancestors show their favor. Who do we talk to first? Let's talk to you. Practically slapped me. Let's talk to you. Lord Denik Helmy. Hello. Honored Desher of the Orzammar Assembly, and terrible disappointment to my esteemed mother, who doesn't like me spending time in taverns. You understand what I'm saying, right? Sure. On the surface, there are no casts, and it works fine. Am I right, Warden? I mean, on the surface, there are sort of casts. There's what we call um, royalty and lords and ladies. There's politics, plenty of that. Basically, how Orzammar's being run down here is how it's run on the surface. No difference, really. Um, a controversial opinion for the dwarf in the assembly. Very good. I guess someone already told you I was good for nothing, drinking my life away at tapsters. Or did they leave off the greatest shame <coughs> to ever fall upon the assembly? I'm always like that. You know, most smiths and tavern keeps would make decent dashes if we gave them a chance and a seat in the assembly. Or Zamar is so mired in tradition, no one bothers asking if the casts are even necessary. How does the caste system work anyway? Badly. Oh, you're serious? Yes. Well, it's simple, I guess. The king and elected deshers of the assembly are at the top. Then it's the nobles. Then the warriors and all the craftsmen. At the bottom are servants. The castless and criminals are below even that. Your caste is determined by that of your same-sex parent. And that's where you stay your whole life, whatever your skill. Hmm. So you get to vote on the next king. Me and 79 other fine, upstanding examples of how someone who's born into every privilege inevitably wants more. They're not fond of my views on equality. And who are you voting for? I doubt either candidate has been outside the diamond quarter in his life. The Lord Harrimont seems a bit more forgiving. Prince Balin's brilliant, I'll give him that, and subtle as sin. But I don't think anything in Orzammar matters more to him than winning. I should get going. As you wish. Hmm. Nice talk. All right. Let's talk to Agrin. What do you want? Hey, I heard about you. Ooh, what's Ray going on here, Gordon? buddy? Coming from the surface. Great crisis in the world. People are saying how you've thrown yourself on Harrowmont's wagon train. I figured you'd be the one, you know, who could help me find Branca. But I guess you're just like all the rest. All of the rest of whom? Power-hungry deep lords. The only real concern they have is whose ass gets the throne. You don't have to play dumb, Warden. Their lackeys only come to me when they want something. Well, if you want the secrets of a paragon, do the work and find her. You're certainly making a lot of assumptions and you have no idea who I am or anything about me. Well, you probably know who I am, but you know nothing about me. Okay. 
Is that the one? Is that who Branca is? She's the Paragon. City's only living Paragon, and she's been lost in the deep roads for two years. Two years. How do you know she's and alive? no one's raised a bleeding army to go look for her. What's it matter to you, huh? Huh. You trying to find out her secrets? That what Harrowmont sent you here for? I know he's been poking around, trying to find things out about her, what she was looking for. Won't tell me spit, though. He looking to take it for himself? A little lost technology of the ancients to throw Balin right out of the picture? What are you talking about? What technology? You are looking for it. Of course, that's all anyone cares about. Well, sawed off and sawed your mother too. I need a bleeding drink. Quit you your sucking. Your errands. Until your boss really commits to looking, you're getting nothing but smoke out of old Ogren. Yikes, Ogren, you. You need help, sir. Sawed off. Okay. Master. No problem. All right, we're out of here. All right, next. Who's this guy? Topsiders? Good. Get some outside gold in here. Calm people down. Make them think we should open the gates for good. Sure. The more cracks in the old way, the better. Yep. That's what Balin stands for. Hmm. All right, let me see what you have. Oh, let's see. Your allegiance is to Balin. Is clear. Why? Not your business, but I see where the gold is. He's the traditional pick, yet he wants a new way, whether some like it or not. Some say Balin killed his father. Just as many say Harrowmont. Neither are paragons, and the scales being equal, I go with the promise of more trade. Hmm. So money is your... your baseline for your decision. Who should be ruler. Okay. So you approve of this chaos. Can't find ore without splitting some stone. My investments are solid, I'll be fine. The assembly has done us a favor. They've shown just how loose the sand is under our feet. It opens people to change. A blight is coming. Orzammar can't be divided. Orzammar will decide what we can or can't be. The blight may be imminent on the surface, but our warriors are well seasoned against dark spawn. There will be topsiders left for trade. There's no end to you. These people are fools. Not all of them, but some of them are. This guy is an absolute fool, and there was another one just like him that we talked to the other day. And they seem to think that they're impervious to this blight, and it's obvious that they're not. And they have no care in the world for anything that goes on above the surface unless it has something to do with filling their pockets full of gold or larium trade from what it sounds like. So why are we helping them? We need them, obviously. We need their armies. So you know what? Let me see what you have. I'll take your gold. You're good for that. Yeah, I don't like this guy. One bit. Gold earrings. Yep, we'll take these. Um, sure, sure, sure. Gifts, we can always use gifts. Um, mortal vessel? All right, that's it. All right, let's go. Who are you? There's a nug. Anything back here? Nope. All right, let's talk to you. Maker's blessing on you, sister. I didn't think dwarves believed in the Maker. I'm Brother Virgil of the Red Cliff Chantry, returned to my ancestors' lands who hmm. spread the chant of light. I'm petitioning to open a chantry in Orzammar. Don't dwarves worship their ancestors or something like that? There is resistance. Yes. It's obvious the world wasn't created by the mortal souls who dwelt within it. Yet the dwarves of Orzammar persist in worshipping their own forefathers. And... Whose permission do you need to open a chantry? The Shaper it controls changes in Orzammar's structure and society. I need the Shaper of Memory's permission to open a prayer meeting. Hmm. 
Okay. Of course, I know the Shaper well, do I? Um, I don't know him well, but I know him. Do you want me to talk to him for you? Oh, I'd hoped you'd say that. Of course. I can see the Maker's hand on your shoulder, guiding you always. Please, let me know as soon as you've heard anything. Okay, so we have a new quest. Brother Burko would like to establish a chantry in Orzammar to spread the chant of light to the dwarves. However, he needs the permission from the Shaper to do so. You told Brother Burkle that you would speak to the Shaper of Memories on his behalf. The Shaper can be found in the Noble Quarter. Okay. Let's go. Orzammar, well, wall carving. The cast. I do not feel like reading that today. All right. Let's go. Let's see what's down here. Let me guess. This is where the poor people live. Yeah. It is a huge difference from what we just came from. Oh, hello. Oh. New Codex, the Castless. Oh dear. Okay. And who are you? Rogic? Rogic? Rog? Okay. Who are you? You don't look like any guardsman I ever saw. And that's not much of a uniform. I'm Natalia, a Grey Warden. Oh. You looking for a chance to bring in some coin? Could be I have that opportunity. Especially for someone with a few connections above ground. Mm-hmm. I'd like to hear what you're asking. Uh, no offense, but your kings have some laws that don't make sense in a practical kind of world. Like about who gets to buy and sell Lyrian, the sacred gift the stone provides us to show her love. Mm hmm no law should regulate that. The laws are meant to keep mages away from the stuff, so there's always buyers in the Circle Tower. I got one man named Godwin. He's expecting a delivery of his stone's way. You want an investment opportunity? Uh, I could see fit to, say, sell you that lyrium instead at the reasonable price of 50 sovereigns. You can keep it or since you can travel freely from here, sell it to Godwin, who you know is buying. And uh, if you bring back his return order, I could pay you, uh, say, 20 sovereigns as a finder's fee. Smuggling is illegal. I don't think so. Boys! Enemies approaching! <laughs> Silver ring. And I got 20 sovereign off of him. Well, there we go. Didn't even have to smuggle anything. Beggar, anything back here? Gosh. Whoever you're looking for, it's not me, I swear. I am not looking for anybody in particular. What is this? Alamar. Hello. What are you looking for? We got nothing to buy for the likes of you. Actually, I Maybe am. Maybe to sell. I am looking for someone in particular. Um, let me see your wares. Of course. Oh, yes. I don't know what these are, but I'm taking these recipes. Um, Bard's Remarkable Amethyst. Yeah, that's all I want. Thank you. Thank you. 
me see something really quick. Shale. Uh, let's see. Let's give you this. Ooh, shiny. Okay. That's what I figured. Ooh, shiny. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Search for the true prophet. I don't know who that. Um, this would be Liliana, I think. This, I feel like. Silver demon head ring. Maybe Morgan? Maybe Alistair? I don't know. Okay. Beggar. Alright, let's see what we got. Shady Corbett? What do you want, Warden? You're out of your element down here. Ooh, bald. Face all tatted up. I'm looking for a thief who dared steal from the shaper it. Is that so? What makes you think anyone here would turn me, I mean, this person in? Uh-huh. You've walked into a sodding fight, Warden, and I've already passed your stupid tome along. Too bad for you. Well, okay. We fight. You dead. Proving receipt. A losing... A losing betting receipt cr crumpled in anger. These are only printed in the Proving Grounds. The thief didn't have the stolen tome. The receipt on his body suggests that he have, may have passed it to someone in the proving grounds. Okay. So another beggar. What is this? Assembly directive. Um, lots of reading that I don't want to do. Idle door. Your clothes are so fancy. Did you get them topside? Uh, I, yes, I did. My ma'am used to say they don't got no stone to protect them topside. If I go up there, I'm going to fall into the sky. You just have to hold on real tight with your feet. Yes. <laughs> when my doll left, he never came back. Who's to say he didn't fall up, eh? I have to go now. No, I, I hear, baby. Go back up there. Lots of dead nugs. Okay. Beggar. Beggar. Nad Nadza? Well, look at that. It's not often old Nadezda sees a Nadezda. fine dressed stranger here in Dust Town. Help a poor cripple. Well, why would I say that? Why what about a generous kick in the face if you ask again? Yeah, I would never say that. Here's five silvers. You're as kind as you are beautiful. I owe you when I get back on my feet. If you don't owe me a thing. Worked. It takes a stranger to notice how bad things are, huh? No dwarf would lift a sodding finger. Excuse my language. What takes you out of the diamond quarter, stranger? You got a vice you're looking for old Nadezda to fill? Hmm. Oh. To where's a body go to get drunk around here? Uh, tell me about Dust Town. It's pretty much as you see it. The raw stone where the castless live. Because we're not welcome elsewhere. That's sad. You're born to wear a branded face in Orzammar. Hmm. And you'll live your life in Dust Town. What do you mean by brand? It means you don't exist. It tells everyone who sees you not to work with you, not to serve you, and not to care if you're hurt. Wow. The deep lords burn it into us the day we're born, so no one accidentally oversteps her place. So you are born into the castless. You're not exiled. Who chooses that? How did you get crippled? I'd say it was an accident to try to get some sympathy coin, but you look like you'd rather hear the truth. I was running protection for the Carta when some guardsmen caught me. Duster I was with had coin for a bribe, but I took a stand. Guardsmen broke my sodding kneecaps and had me kneel in dung until the infection set in. Never healed proper. Can they just get away with that? I don't know where you're from, but in Orzammar, castless have no lineage, so it's no crime to hurt you. You're born to wear a branded face in Orzammar, and you'll live your life in Dust Town. Mm, I should get going. I'll just stay out of your way then. 
the more I hear, the more I really don't like the dwarves. Really don't like them. Spare a bit for the needy? Sure. Please, ha have you a coin to spare, my lady? It's for my son. He's sick. He hasn't any clean clothes to wear or anything to eat today. Neither have I. Why doesn't your son's father help you? A question I ask every day. He was eager enough for a daughter who would bring him into the mining cast. But since the boy was born, I've not seen nose or heel of the lout. And me alone on the street, forbidden to return to my family unless I... But no, I can't bear to even think of it. What does your family want you to do? My son's father is castless, as is he. I used to be a miner, but my parents stripped my caste and refused to accept me back. Unless I agree to abandon the child in the deep roads and pretend I never bore him. What the heck is going on in this city? That's horrible. That is... I am speechless. <laughs> okay. That's horrible. That is... That is beyond horrible. That is sick. I cannot abandon my baby. The shapers teach that only children of true lineage exist, not those born cast. They never carry the child. He cries like any other infant and smiles when he's warm and full. I can't kill him because of an accident of birth, an accident I forced on him. Do I want to reason with her family or do I I feel like she would do better on the surface? I don't think right now with the, the way things are, she would do well on the surface because of, you know, obviously the blight. I think as much as I hate to say this because I really do not like her family right now and the way I'm feeling about these elitist dwarves, I'm not saying all the dwarves are like this. Obviously, we have some some real problems with the elites. And the way they treat their poor. Um, and just the whole caste system. I, I just, yeah. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to reason with her family. Because I think that would be right now her best bet. I would never say send him to the dark, the dark roads. I think that is the most disgusting thing anybody could ever say. And, um, yeah, just maybe I could reason with your family. You would do that? But why? I don't like to see a child suffer. Orzammar must change. There is something in Orzammar that has to change. These, yeah. And I don't like to see it. I think mostly I don't like to see a child suffer. That's first and foremost. Also, Orzammar must change. Something has to change. I'm not saying all their things are wrong, but there's some issues here. Then I cannot offer enough gratitude. But I warn you, my father is a stiff-necked man. His name is Ordell, and he's usually at Tapsters in the evening. I do not Ordell. think he will listen to you. Did I have I seen but Ordell? I will wait anxiously to see if you can do what you promised. Oh. Please believe me. I'm going to do something. You met Zerlinda, a penniless young woman in the slums. Once part of the mining estate, she was disowned for having a son with a castless man. That's ridiculous. And now is alone and destitute. He agreed to try to persuade her father, Ordell, to take her back so she and her child can lead normal lives. Hmm. Ordell frequents Tapster's Tavern in Orzammar. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really not happy. Anything over here? It's another beggar. If I were tall and beautiful like you, I could make all sorts of money. Lady, you don't have to resort to that. Hmm. Dust your leather boots. Chest. Alright. Got a leather helm here. That's all we got. All right. Okay. 
I'm at a door over here. What is... Oh, yeah, the idle door. This door appears to be made of solid stone. There are no visible means of opening it. On closer inspection, there's a small slot concealed in a, in a fold of stone. Just big enough for a finger. Look at the slot. You see nothing but blackness. Do nothing. Okay. It is begun. Can I unlock it? Continue. Okay. All right. So. Didn't get enough of the architectural beauty of Dust Town. You need old Nadezda to play tour guide? Where's the body go to get drunk around here? <laughs> if you have that kind of coin, Salroka, you don't want to drink what they've got here. Take yourself up to Tapsters. As long as your face isn't branded, they've got anything you want. Wow. Okay, I should get going. I'll just stay out of your way then. All right, um, let's talk to this guy, maybe. You got a crust of bread to spare. Jeez. Nothing here. I don't even know. Um. Chant in the deeps. Lost memories. Thief in the house of learning. All right, so we need to go to the Proving Grounds. I don't know why I came back in here. All right. Who are you? Oh, you're just a beggar, right? Just a beggar. I shouldn't have said that. Is a dangerous one. Now, who's this Jarvia? What's it? Oh, this is where we were. Right? Nothing else? We didn't miss anything? Okay. Okay. So now we need to go back to the diamond quarters. And then... Like, right? Wait, there's a. Mm, where is it at? Oh, yeah. To the assembly. I said in the diamond quarter. All right, the assembly. Is this. No. Who was over here? Lord Aralant is the voice of tradition and stability. Mm -hmm. Lord Balin is the voice of anarchy. Didn't see this. House I Duke and Shield of Orzammar. Lord Aralant is a uh, weak man, and he will be a weak king. Yes. Wow. It shall. Is this wait wait I think we were here already Yeah This isn't it It was the assembly Is this it? Yeah, this is it. It is begun. Okay. Um assembly guard Vartag, hello. Warden. It is always a blessing for Orzammar to host your order. I am Vartag Gavorn, top advisor to our good Prince Balin. What news do you bring? Um... I don't know. Dulin Ferrender has asked me to fight in the Proving today. Then I will see you again when you give your concession speech, for I have nothing to discuss with Haramont's puppets. Unless you're here for a better offer. I heard of the troops you seek. Do you wish a new alliance? Wow. I 
these choices. No, I just want you to be ready to lose. What could Balin offer me? I'll support whoever can get me the troops I need. I, I don't think she would. Natalia, I think, would make her decision based on what is right. Not, yes, the main goal is to get help for the blight. However, she's involved herself into politics as she didn't necessarily um, expect to, nor does she want to, but she has no choice. And so if she's going to involve herself in politics, she wants to try to make the wisest decision. And as I said before, when we started the game, Natalia tends to be to, to be um, very careful about any choices that she makes. Um, and in this case, she would not just easily uh, flip sides because um, they're giving her something that she wants. Um, so, no. I just want you to be ready to lose. Perhaps you should make that preparation yourself. Well... Whatever you say, Vartag. Whatever you say. Listen here. The assembly is in session. Enter quietly if you wish to observe. Absolutely. Your mind has gone to dust if you think we would pass such a writ. Half our houses would go broke without the surface trade. The proposal is only effective until we have a king to ensure we are respected by the surfacers. Leaving you conveniently positioned to take over all contracts. I'll see your head on a pike first. Geshers, lords and ladies of the assembly. I've already doubled the guard to prevent violence. Must I summon more? Steward Bandalore, Balin's sympathizers are tying our hands with trivialities. They may as well open us to the sky. I suggest we put the matter to a vote. And I suggest you have a taste of my family's mace. Enough. The assembly is in recess until the members can regain control of their emotions. Wow. Okay, quest completed. You attempted to address the assembly, but they were deaf to your concerns while the throne is up for grabs. I mean, we just walked in, really. Oh, hello. Stone forsaken fools and dusters. I'm sorry. This is the assembly of the clans. Only dashers and occasional guests of state are allowed in. Well, I am a guest of the state. You don't recognize the Grey Warden? I'm a guest of Lord Haramont. Oh, Stone. You must be the Grey Warden. I completely forgot about the Gate Guard's message. Welcome to Orzammar, Warden. Thank you. I hope you can forgive our unrest. The loss of our king has hit us hard. Respect for your role is great, but you won't receive a proper hearing until we have a king on the throne. Right. Is there any way I can break the stalemate? I must admit, Warden, I am at a loss myself. It lies with Prince Balin or Lord Harriman, and they are slow to trust anyone in these uncertain times. Right. I only wish there was more I could do for you. Okay, so we've already established that we need to plead fealty to one or the other, um, and it is to our benefit that it is Harriman and not Balin, because Harriman seems to be The one that takes the moral high ground. Lord Haramont, said to have kicked Castle in the street. Um, where is this? Oh, I know what I want to do. I want to go. The hour. Three more land Lord okay, I want to go to the tavern. Freaking shale. So tell me. How did you become a Grey Warden? Uh, short story, I met Duncan and he liked me. Arl, uh, Arl Howe massacred my family. Duncan helped me escape. Arl Rendon Howe? The Arl of Amaranthine? The very same. Why would he do such a thing to you? I am the daughter of Bryce Kuslin, Tyrion of High Ever. You are... You are the last of the Kuslins? I had no idea, my lady. Don't. I'm just a great warden now. Yes, I suppose so. You can no longer have a title, can you? 
But that does not mean you must forget utterly where you came from. Take heart, dear friend. You survived, even when you were not expected to. We do not know yet what lies in store for you, or the name you carry. It is not so bad, is it, being a Grey Warden? I just wish my house did not have to fall. Sometimes it gives me comfort to think that everything will end up the way it's supposed to. Mm. That it will be all right. You were chosen. You survived the joining when others did not. Perhaps it was meant to be. I believe we already had this conversation with uh, when in the last playthrough. All right. Um, to the tavern to find what's his name? Ordell. There he is. Uh -huh. What are you looking at, stranger? Looking at you is what I'm looking at. Are you Ordell? I could be. What business is it of yours? <laughs> I met your daughter. I have no daughter. Could be you met a castless whore claiming she was once mine. <laughs> what kind of monster throws this child out on the street? Oh. I'm the monster, yes. not the castless wretch that filled my daughter with his brat. I've got a family and a reputation to protect. I'm not letting one stupid girl drag us all down. I want to intimidate him. But I don't... I want to prick at the heart of the matter. Like it or not, she's your daughter. She may not have made a the right decision or a wise decision, but the decision was made. A baby was born, and a baby is not a mistake. And so I want him to see that. If you don't take Zerlinda back, she'll die. What? You think she'd die just to keep that thing? She knows what she has to do to come home. I never wanted her gone. Just the little cur. Can't she see she'd have a better life if she got rid of it? He's a baby, not a cur, and she loves him. Look, just tell her... We never meant to hurt her. It just seemed best that... Oh, just tell her to come home. Her mother and I are waiting for her. Yeah. <sighs> I'm not happy with that. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm not happy with that. It's the the outcome here. I'm happy with the fact that yes, he wants her to come home. However, the 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 issue hasn't really been resolved. Um, not in the way that I think it should. In order to her, for her to feel safe coming home, and not necessarily her feel safe coming home, but the safety of her child. You know, um, he just called the child in it a cur, called his daughter a whore. I, I feel like the issues in the family run way deeper than what we're seeing and I don't know I'd rather see her at home than raising the baby here to be fair yeah you're back I thought you weren't coming what did he say hmm <sighs> Your father wants you both to come home. Both of us? Yes. I don't believe he said that. He did. I've never heard him refer to my son as anything but trash. He calls him it. But yeah, maybe, it is. Maybe mother convinced him. Or you did. Oh, my friend. I cannot thank you enough. If this were a story, my son would grow to manhood and pledge himself as a knight in your service. 
When he grows up, I will send him to you. I promise. Oh. Oh boy. I hope I made the right decision. Let's see if we can get in this door again. Mm. Nope. Okay. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. All right. So we need to. All right. So what we're going to do is go ahead and end it here, I think. Um, and next time we return to Orzammar, I'm going to head to the Proving Grounds to see if I can get uh, some resolution, uh, get a resolution to the stalemate, this political stalemate between Haramont and Balin. Also, I would like to address the situation with Dagna and the mages. And uh, probably make our way to the dark, the dark roads because that's uh, looks like that's where we are headed. Um, so yeah, all right, guys, man, this has been one troubling episode. I have a lot to think about um, as far as like my dealings with the dwarves. Uh, listen, all the dwarves don't have the same beliefs. I realize that, and I'm not going to. Um, I'm not going to cast the shadow over the entire in the entire race here, but their traditions, I don't necessarily agree with the caste system, I think is ridiculous. Yet and still, in reality, we have these systems in place, too. You know, there is the idea of um, the rich, the middle class, and the poor, and each one is treated differently. Uh, and that's basically what's happening here. Um, yeah. So, I have to say, BioWare has done some of their best writing in this particular game, and you can see why people love this game. As angry as it can make you, you know. You know when the writing is good, when situations become so real that it angers you. So anyways, that was my little quick rant on the situation here at Orzammar. And I hope you enjoyed this particular episode. And I hope to uh, hear from you. Drop me a comment below. To tell me what you think about the cast system. What you think about my decision to help um, Sir Linda and the baby. What you would maybe have done differently if you would have done anything differently um yeah and also if you would uh vote for balen or Hermont. just interested to know all right guys until next time i've been pixelated twix hope to see you again here soon ciao